OpenAI's QSTAR has been making the rounds on social media platforms with immense speculation as to what it is. Next level artificial intelligence is just around the corner, not 10, 20, 30 years in the future. Like it's here and it's going to be rolling out soon. Get ready. Several researchers wrote a letter to the board of directors warning of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they said could threaten humanity. Building on top of Sutskever's method, a model called QSTAR. The QSTAR algorithm them by OpenAI. Many are looking at it as the precursor to an AGI. Now the definition of AGI has shifted over the years with researchers contesting the term. Recently, Google DeepMind has proposed a framework for classifying the capabilities and behavior of artificial general intelligence models and their precursors. This framework introduces levels of AGI performance, generality, and autonomy. It hopes to provide a common language to compare models, assess risks, and measure progress along the path to AGI. To develop this framework, the authors analyze existing definitions of AGI and distill six principles that a useful ontology for AGI should satisfy. These principles include focusing on capabilities rather than mechanisms, separately evaluating generality and performance, and defining stages along the path towards AGI, rather than focusing on the endpoint. Artificial general intelligence is an important and sometimes controversial concept in computing research used to describe an AI system that is at least as capable as a human at most tasks. Given the rapid advancement of machine learning models, the concept of AGI has passed from being the subject of philosophical debate to one with near-term practical relevance. Some experts believe that sparks of AGI are already present in the latest generation of large language models. Some predict AI will broadly outperform humans within about a decade. Some even assert that current LLMs are AGIs. However, if you were to ask 100 AI experts to define what they mean by AGI, you'd likely get 100 related but different definitions. Achieving human-level intelligence is an explicit or explicit North Star goal for many in the field of AI. From the 1955 Dartmoor AI conference that kick-started the modern field of AI to some, to some of today's leading AI research firms, whose mission statements allude to concepts such as ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. AGI is typically intertwined with the notion of emergent properties, capabilities not explicitly anticipated by the developers. Such capabilities offer promise, perhaps including abilities that are complementary to typical human skills, enabling new types of interaction or novel industries. AGI may have significant economic implications, researching the necessary criteria for widespread labor substitution and also military considerations. Some speculate that AGI systems might be able to deceive and manipulate, accumulate resources, advance goals, behave agentically, and recursively self-improve. Many AI researchers and organizations have proposed definitions of AGI. Let us consider nine prominent examples and reflect on their strengths and limitations. Case study one, the Turing test. It's perhaps the most well-known attempt to operationalize an AGI-like concept. A Turing imitation game was posited as a way to operationalize the question of whether machines could think and ask a human to interactively distinguish whether text is produced by another human or by a machine. In practice, the test often highlights the ease of fooling people rather than the intelligence of the machine. Given that modern LLMs pass some framings of the Turing test, it seems clear that this criteria is insufficient for operationalizing or benchmarking AGI. Whether well, a machine can think, while well, an interesting philosophical and scientific question seems orthogonal to the question of what the machine can do. Case study two, strong AI, systems possessing consciousness. Philosopher John Searle mused, according to strong AI, the computer is not merely a tool in the study of the mind. Rather, 
the appropriately programmed computer really is a mind. In the sense that computers given the right programs can be literally said to understand and have other cognitive states. While strong AI might be one path to achieving AGI, there is no scientific consensus on methods for determining whether machines possess strong AI attributes, such as consciousness making the process-oriented focus of this framing impractical. Case study 3. Analogies to the human brain. The original use of the term artificial general intelligence was in a 1997 article about military technologies by Mark Gubert, which defined AGI as AI systems that rival or surpass the human brain in complexity and speed, that can acquire, manipulate and reason with general knowledge, and that are usable in essentially any phrase of industrial or military operations where a human intelligence would otherwise be needed. This early definition emphasizes processes rivaling the human brain in complexity in addition to capabilities. While neural network architectures underlying modern ML systems are loosely inspired by the human brain, the success of transformer-based architectures whose performance is not reliant on human-like learning suggests that strict brain-based processes and benchmarks are not inherently necessary for AGI. Case study 4. Human-level performance on cognitive tasks. Legg and Gerdzel popularized the term AGI among computer scientists in 2001, describing AGI as a machine that is able to do the cognitive tasks that people can typically do. This definition notably focuses on non-physical tasks, for example, not requiring robotic embodiment as a precursor to AGI. Like many other definitions of AGI, this framing presents ambiguity around choices such as what tasks and which people. Case study 5. Ability to learn tasks. In the technological singularity, Shanahan suggests that AGI is artificial intelligence that is not specialized to carry out specific tasks, but can learn to perform as broad a range of tasks as a human. An important property of this framing is its emphasis on the value of including metacognitive tasks among the requirements for achieving AGI. Case study six, economically valuable work. OpenAI's charter defines AGI as highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work. This definition has strengths per the capabilities, not processes, as it focuses on performance agnostic to underlying mechanisms. Further, this definition offers a potential yardstick for measurement economic value. A shortcoming of this definition is that it does not capture all of the criteria that may be part of general intelligence. There are many tasks that are associated with intelligence that may not have a well-defined economic value, for instance, artistic creativity or economical intelligence. Uh, such properties may be indirectly accounted for in economic measures. Artistic creativity might produce books or movies. Emotional intelligence might relate to the ability to be a successful CEO. Whether economic value captures the full spectrum of intelligence remains unclear. Case study 7. The flexible and general. The coffee test and related challenges. Gary Marcus suggests that AGI is shorthand for any intelligence that is flexible and general, with the resourcefulness and reliability comparable to or beyond human intelligence. Similar to the Shanahan formulation, this suggests that metacognitive tasks such as the ability to learn new skills must be included in an AGI set of capabilities in order to achieve sufficient generality. One of Marcus's proposed tasks, work as a competent cook in an arbitrary kitchen, a variant of Steve Wozniak's coffee test, requires robotic embodiment. This differs from other definitions that focus on non-physical tasks. Case study 8. Artificial Capable Intelligence In the book The Coming Wave, Suleiman proposed the concept of Artificial Capable Intelligence, or ACI, 
More specifically, Solomon proposed an economically based definition of ACI skill that he dubbed the modern Turing test, in which an AI would be given $100,000 of capital and tasked with turning that into a million dollars over a period of several months. This framing is more narrow than OpenAI's definition of economically variable work and has the additional downside of potentially introducing alignment risks by only targeting physical profit. Construed more broadly than making a million dollars, ACI's emphasis on complex real-world tasks is noteworthy, since such tasks may have more ecological validity than many current AI benchmarks. Case study 9. State-of-the-art LLMs as generalists. Aguera que Akez and Novik suggest that state-of-the-art LLMs, um, for example, deployments of GPT-4, Google, BARD, Meta's Lama 2, and Anthropic's Claude, are already AGIs, arguing that generality is the key property of AGI, and that because language models can discuss a wide range of topics, execute a wide range of tasks, uh, handle multimodal inputs and outputs, operate in multiple languages and learn from zero-shot or few-shot examples, they have achieved sufficient generality. While the authors agree that generality is a ch crucial characteristic of AGI, they posit that it must also be paired with a measure of performance. If an LLM can write code or perform math, but is not reliably correct, then its generality is not yet sufficiently performant. I think that powerful machine learning, powerful AGI is coming in some, some time. Right. And if the system is really capable, really intelligent, really powerful, trying to somehow contain it or limit it is probably not a winning strategy because these systems ultimately will be very, very capable. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is you have to align it. You have to get it so it's fundamentally a highly ethical, value-aligned system from the get-go. Mm -hmm. 